Have you ever pondered over the idea of designing your own offspring? Imagine a future where parents could select traits for their unborn child, just like choosing scenes in a movie. This is the concept of designer babies and genetic modification, where genes are like the scenes of a film and we hold the editor's pen. This isn't about creating a perfect child, but about the potential to prevent certain diseases or enhance specific characteristics. This is not a science fiction plot, but a future that might be closer than we think. So how does one edit a human gene? Picture this. Our bodies are made up of millions of cells, and within each cell we find our DNA, the blueprint of life. This DNA is organized into units called genes, which instruct our bodies on everything from our hair color to our risk of certain diseases. Enter CRISPR, a revolutionary gene editing tool. Think of it as a pair of molecular scissors that can cut and paste DNA sequences. Scientists use it to replace faulty genes with healthy ones, much like editing a typo in a Word document. By harnessing the power of CRISPR, we can potentially eradicate genetic diseases such as muscular dystrophy or cystic fibrosis. The implications are staggering. It opens up a vista of possibilities for improving human health and longevity. With such power at our fingertips, we could potentially change the course of human evolution. But with great power comes great responsibility. Are we ready to play God? The ethical landscape surrounding genetic modification is as complex as the science itself. The spectre of eugenics looms large. Could we unwittingly create a society where genetic perfection becomes a new class divider, an unbridgeable gap between the haves and have-nots? And then there's the fear of irreversible mistakes. What if our pursuit of progress leads us down a path of unintended consequences? It's crucial to remember that science is not merely a testament to what we can achieve. It's a guiding light illuminating what we should strive for. The question is not just can we do it, but should we do it? Imagine a world where your genetic makeup is no longer a game of chance. As we delve deeper into the realm of genetic modification, we might find ourselves facing unexpected societal implications. Picture a society divided not by wealth or class, but by genetic superiority. A new elite, not born but designed. What then becomes of the gap between the rich and the poor? Will it widen into a chasm, with the wealthy able to afford such enhancements, leaving the less fortunate behind? And let's not forget the potential impact on human diversity. As we select for desirable traits, do we risk losing the very thing that makes us unique, our individuality? The future of human genetics is a fascinating yet complex journey, one that could redefine what it means to be human.